Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. And for that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Leo love prediction reading for August 1st through August 8th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space energy as well. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. Also, if you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I would be most humbled, most honored. I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you so much in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loving, kind, kind-hearted, sweet Leos. What's going on with my Leos, my loving, kind, sweet Leos? Show me what's going on with my loyal, loving Libra spirit guys. Spirit guys, can you show me what's going on with my Leos? Thank you, spirit guys. Thank you, spirit guys. Let's see, Leos. What you got going on? Four of Cups. Ten of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Well, Leo, this is this is like a um I think you're upset with someone. I do. Let me tell you why I think you're upset. You don't hold back your love. Leo, you give from your heart and you give it totally. But someone in your love and your relationship area on your love scope has caused you to hold back your love. Because this four of cups means that you're stingy with your love right now. You're pulling back on your love right now. I do believe you're upset with someone. Someone did something. Someone, um... Someone did not do what you wanted them to do. Because see, this Four of Cups is next to the Ten of Cups. You thought you had a Ten of Cups with someone, but they didn't come correct. You gave, you gave your heart, you gave your money, you gave your time. You gave everything to them because you saw a Ten of Cups. And a Ten of Cups means you saw great joy, you had joy with them. You saw possibly a relationship that led to marriage. You saw just everything. The Ten of Cups means your heart space is on fire. Everything is everything is just wonderful. It's just like you wake up in the mornings whistling. That's what you saw with this person. But this person, I don't believe, saw that with you. Because at the very middle of your reading, you have the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles means um, lack. It means lack. It means poverty. But see, it means also that you're not quite being observant. Because what this is, these people, as you see them walking past and you see the five in the church up there, but they're not quite, well, this is representing the church, a stained glass window. You're not quite, um, you're not looking at the positives. You're only looking at the negatives. Remember, Leo, it's not all about you. You must remember it's not all about you because this five of pentacles means that you feel like you're they didn't do you right. You you're in your you're in your you're in your um fields as we say. You're in your fields because you feel like they didn't do you right. For some reason you're in your fields because you feel like they didn't do you right. Now this three of pentacles is here next. And this three of pentacles is a card of learning. It's a card of getting together, it's a card of doing things. I do believe that you should not walk from this relationship just because you're in your fields because you feel like they're not doing what you want them to do or they're not moving as quickly as you want them to move. Three of Pentacles means that you guys get together and you learn together. Um, whatever it is, these meetings that you have, they're dates that you have. And I think this means meetings, dates. You still get together with them because you learn from them. They're teaching you something, something that you need to know. Now you have that Ace of Swords. Now Ace of Swords is a truth card. And I think they're just, you're, they're showing you, they're revealing yourself to you. Whenever you're with them, they reveal themselves and they show you what you, how you are and what you are. And I do believe that you need that. You need to be shown possibly that it's not all about you, that you need to be kind. You need to hold, slow your roll. Don't get all huffy and puffy because you're not getting what you want at that very moment. So let's see, Leo. Uh, the first five cards just give you a general overview of what this story is, but I'm going to do, um, another uh i'm going to clarify the cards for you so if this is your story 
please take the time, sit back and relax and let me clarify the story so that I can give you what the story, what the um, spirit guides want me to tell you. Let's see, why is this Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here for my Leo? Show me why is the Four of Cups here for Leo's. Show me, Spirit Guys, why is the Four of Cups here for Leo's? Uh, you got the Two of Wands. Yeah, like I said, you look, you saw, you see them as a future. That's why you're so impatient. That's why you're going to hold back your love. Just because you, you're pouting, just because you're not getting what you want, you feel, I'll pull it back. I'll pull back my love. I've been giving them everything and they're not giving me exactly what I want. So it's all about me. So I'll pull back my love. Let's see why this, because you see a future and you don't feel like you're not quite sure if they see a future with you. Let's see why this 10 of cups is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the 10 of cups here for my Leos? Uh, you have the ace of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, because you feel like now there's a future with money. There's a future with abundance. You see that this is a relationship that can be very, very abundant. When I say abundant, abundant with things, with money, with all of the above. It can do, you, you see this. You see this. And they're not quite moving as quickly as you want them to move. So let's see why the five of pentacles is here. Show me why the five of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Ah, you have the transformation card. That death card, that could be a Scorpio person too. This is a transformation. Like I said, you have this five of pentacles. You're in your fields here. I still say you are in your fields. You are in your pouting. You're in your fields. But you are transforming. You are transitioning. And because with this three of pentacles left, which means you're going on dates, you're learning. You're still learning this person. You're still you're learning from them. They're teaching you. Don't get upset, but they are. You're learning from them. They're revealing your true self to you through them. So let's see. Why is this three of pentacles here? Show me, spirit guides. Ah, uh, you got the ace of cups. Yeah, because see, you got all huffy and puffy and said what you needed to say and do everything. Everything. You know, hey, it's about me. Uh, I want this this way. I want it now. I don't want to wait. I don't want to learn you. I don't want to get to know you. My heart and my feelings say that you're the one. But this person slows your roll. Three of Pentacles, like I said, is going on more dates. This is more things that you're learning together. You're doing things together. They're trying to see how you are. You're trying, you've already made your assessment, but they're trying to see how you are. Ace of Cups is a card of um, forgiveness. And I think you want forgiveness for them because maybe you opened your mouth and said some bad things. Or not even bad things, but you, you basically said, um, you know, I'm not going to, okay, cool. You know, you got a little bit um, of coldness to you on this. Ace of Cups is also a card of unconditional love. It is. So there is, you need to be, the, to settle down. So if you want this person, and then, like I said, ask a little bit for their forgiveness. And when I say forgiveness, don't give me a thumbs down. I'm saying just show them that you, you're just trying to learn. You're, this is something new for you, and you want to move to the next level with them. So let's see why is this Ace of Swords. Why is this Truth card here for you? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Truth card here for my Leos? Ah, uh, you've got that Knight of Wands. Because I told you, Leo, you are used to having a Knight of Wands energy, an in and out energy. That's why this person, that's why this person um settled back with you. This is why this person wouldn't give you everything you wanted up front. You learn from this person. This this Knight of Wands is a fire pony. Knight of Wands is in and out. It's very passionate. You, it's a great energy. But you are learning with this Ace of Swords here. They're showing you. They're showing you, yeah. I'm taking my time with this because I know how you are. You are, you know, you love one minute and, and out the next. You have not settled down. You have an energy of in and out energy. And they know that. And they're showing you this. You're learning this from them. If you want them, they're letting you know what you need to do. Four of Cups. Let's start at the very beginning. Like I said, you pull back your love because you're in your fields. You're pouting. Oh, well. You know, because you see a two of wands and they're not ready yet to make that commitment to you. You see a two of wands there. You see a, a, a you are seen in the future with them. Then you have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is a card of all is well, heart space. Everything is on point. You wake up whistling in the morning. You have joy. Then you have that Ace of Coins on top, which means you also know this can be an abundant a relationship. A, money, a relationship that, that sows great abundance, you guys together. But you have this Five of Pentacles here, which means lack and poverty. But like I said, that Five of Pentacles to you is just saying that, you know, you're, you're in your feelings. You know, you feel like you're not good enough for this. They're making you 
making you work for it in essence. And then you have this death card. Something new for you. Transition could be a Scorpio person. Three of Pentacles, you're still going on dates. You're still learning from them. Ace of Cups, you know what? You figured in your mind, let me ask for forgiveness because this person is essential to me. My learning. Me growing up, possibly. Me not thinking it's always about me. Ace of Swords is a truth card, which means that they're showing you. The reason I'm not giving you everything is because you're in and out energy all the time. This is how you roll. You're in and out. Let's see. What? Oh, spirit guys say composure. Keep your composure. If you want this to move to the next level, keep your composure and move it to the next level. Be patient. Be kind. That's what I have for you for your Leo love prediction.